are these people? Colin, Con Yunus, you remember recently it was a safe zone designated, yes? Uh, refugee yes. camps in Gaza, I there. Like the hospitals there. We've talked about plenty of those experiences. Um, but guess what, Colin? Guess what? What's up? Well, Israel orders new Khan Yunus evacuation, signaling it will reinvade. Many displaced Palestinians who fled Rafah are sheltering in Khan Yunus. This is from the incredible Dave DeCamp from antiwar.com, which shout out antiwar.com. You can find them on many places online, antiwar.com specifically. Look at that right there. Also, follow their, the relaxed side of anti, antiwar.com at antiwar news on Twitter. Very nice people. Go sub to them. Try to get that above 10. The little number right there, you know, to try to get that. Look at all the Indie Media Today, Indie Media Awards. They are an Indie Media Award honoree, if I'm not mistaken. So, yes. So, give them a shout out. Um, but Dave DeCamp writes Israel has ordered Palestinians to evacuate from the eastern point of Khan Yunus, signaling its forces are preparing to reinvade the southern Gaza city, which has mostly been destroyed by the previous Israeli assault. Many of the over one million Palestinian civilians who led the Israeli assault on Rafah have been sheltering in Khan Yunus and are being forcibly displaced again, according to the AP. Palestinians have been told to go to the nearby Al-Mawasi camp on the coast, which Israel has declared a safe zone. But like other so-called safe zones in Gaza, the camp has come under repeated Israeli attacks. Funny how that works. Funny how that mm. works. Israeli forces withdrew from Khan Yunus in April and left the city in complete ruins. Municipal officials estimated the Israeli assault destroyed more than 80% of the buildings in Khan Yunus and left the rest mostly uninhabitable. Israel said it destroyed Hamas battalions, military in the city, and claimed victory. Then why are you reinvading? What happened? What I thought you I thought you I thought victory mission accomplished, right? Yeah. Anyway, another planned invasion signals the Palestinian group could be reestablishing itself, as it has in other parts of Gaza disseminated by the Israeli military. The guys, they're everywhere. They're coming back. They're like the Undertaker. We we kill them and they just keep coming back. We don't understand. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu insists his goal is still to eliminate Hamas in Gaza, even as his own military has said the goal is impossible. This business of destroying Hamas, making Hamas disappear, <laughs> simply throwing sand in the eyes of the public. Israeli Defense Forces spokesman Rear Ad Admiral Daniel Hagari said last month. Um, Hamas is an idea. Hamas is a party. It's rooted in the hearts of the people. Whoever thinks we can eliminate Hamas is wrong. Where's the lie? Um, anyway, on Sunday, Netanyahu again vowed to continue his genocidal war and Hamas is eliminated and rejected the idea of a permanent ceasefire. Okay. Any it, it who did well, you know this well i've noticed that i think cuz biden is basically a corpse at this point like <laughs> no one has been talking about israel and gaza at night come on him. man but but no one talks about everyone's like oh we're looking for a ceasefire we're looking for a ceasefire looking for a ceasefire bb has said multiple times. I am not interested in a fucking ceasefire. So uh -huh. what do you suppose you're going to do? Since and they the also don't tell you about all the peace deals and hostage negotiations. Hamas has already accepted. Accepted, which people are now even online are saying that's not happening. I'm like... Yeah, oh no. Jesus Christ. Like, no, Their own generals you know, are saying that's not happening. That there's been no intention of accepting a hostage negotiation. Look, Yet outwardly, I'll say that it's they care so much. I so. have said this. I'll say it again. 
at this point, it's a matter of do you want to defeat Hamas or Hamas. do you want to save lives, including the hostages that are currently in Gaza? Right? Mm -hmm. I would think at this point, because there's no way you're going to win against Hamas. It, it, mainstream media pretty much has said as much. There is no way. So BB has already admitted that the hostages are, he's fine having them be collateral damage. Yep. If it means, if it means, for, if it goes towards a larger goal of ethnically cleanse Gaza. And these so, are the same hostages who, by the way, tell people that Hamas fighters shield them with their bodies while being fired upon by Israeli forces. So these are the same ones. Israel has been using yep. bodies as human seals themselves. Most Literally recently, strapped to vehicles. Uh, you vehicles. know, Not, Even that, like years ago, I saw an article where yep. it mentioned that Israel was using... Palestinians essentially as human the, shields. So we as covered they it. Say, Look up the human shield segment we did. Uh, shout right. out Robert Inlakesh, um, who put that out. So had that before a lot of other people covered it. So appreciate you. Um, Every so, statement is a confession, as they say. It, so. You are correct. So Gaza's health ministry said on Monday that at least thirty-seven thousand nine hundred Palestinians have been killed in Gaza since October seventh. I guarantee you that fucking number's way off. Way Hate off. to tell you. A total but number that killed the people who do the numbers though. So <laughs> that's yes. Um so that includes around fifteen thousand children. I want you to just imagine a hundred children laid out in a room. Now imagine them all not existing. Now multiply that by one hundred and fifty. Like, think of a thousand children. It's a football field of, of little toddlers. Okay? Uh, big. These numbers are hard to grasp. So please do try to do that math in your head. But the actual number is likely more higher as the health ministry's numbers don't account for the thousands dead under the rubble and the breakdown in communication in Israel's destruction of health facilities has impeded the counting of the dead. So, luckily, we have places like Al Jazeera who are documenting this as best they can, um, and other journalists who are in the area. So, we'll let them do some of this. So, we'll full screen, and we'll go here. Forcibly displaced children are among those who have been sleeping on the street after Israel's army told Palestinians again to leave Khan Yunus in Gaza. We received a message on our mobile phones. Look at these children, how they walk. We did not find a car to ride in. We are going to look for a place to evacuate to. She's been displaced six times from Rafa. Patients from the European hospitals had to be pulled in their bed. Could you imagine this in the United States, Care Bear? No, because there would be outrage if there was, well, if it was the right person. There would if this happened to one person somewhere, there would be outrage. Let alone entire families, groups, and thousands of people. Again, multiple times. I, ugh. To the Nasir Hospital, several kilometers away, this is how the patients have been transported from the European hospital to the Nasser hospital. Walking by foot, they called the hospital and told us to leave, so we left the European hospital to Nasir by foot. Doctors also had to abandon the European hospital and carried whatever medical equipment they could after patients were moved out extraordinarily difficult uh, because access to transport is uh, is extraordinarily expensive given the price of fuel at the moment due to access issues uh, but also because of the injuries that are sustained and the chronic long-term nature um, of these injuries mobilizing is nigh on impossible and transporting these patients out using ambulance uh, means is it's just impossible as well 
This is not the first time people have been ordered to leave Khan Yunus. In January, people were told to move further south. When the Israeli military moved in to occupy the area, most Palestinians in Gaza have been displaced multiple times. Several areas declared humanitarian zones by Israeli forces have later come under attack. More than 37,000 Palestinians have been killed in the war on Gaza. Again, a very conservative man. Um, yeah. So, a little bit left from Al Jazeera, particularly Lyndall Rowlands and Alistair McCready. Um, Israel's war on Gaza, 12 killed in Israeli air raid on Seiso. So they're, this is already, they're already attacking the Seiso. So, Israeli air attacks killed 12 Palestinians, including nine members of one family, in a designated safe zone after they followed Israel's evacuation orders. The AP report. The UN estimates that up to 250,000 people have been affected by Israeli's military order for people who leave areas near the southern city of Khan Yunus, as the total number of displaced in Gaza is estimated to have reached 1.9 million people. Like, what's that, three times the population of Rhode Island? You know what I, I mean? Like that. Like, after hundreds of sick and wounded people fled the European hospital in Khan Yunus, only three patients remain, says WHO representative Rick Peepercorn, pleading for the hospital to be spared from attacks as an Israeli ground invasion loom. The killing of four people in an Israeli air raid on the Nur Shams refugee camp in the occupied West Bank brings to six the total number of Palestinians that have been killed in the area in the past 24 hours, including a woman and a child. Colin, any, any questions, concerns, thoughts? Concerns? Yeah. But how long does this have to go on before people actually give a damn and do something? And given that BB is going to be visiting my neck of the woods in the next few weeks. Yeah. So. Um, watch your back out there, homie. Yeah, I mean, yeah, screaming at BB, fine. But that's not going to help the issue because it's deep-seated within the ideology of Zionism. And yeah. um, I was reading something earlier today. Um. That basically, I forgot exactly what it said, but essentially it was the idea of, you know, being Jewish. It's essentially, it's a religion of peace. And that to go against that in kind of what is happening in Gaza right now is essentially going against. Oh, yeah, the they're all they're all going to whatever hell they believe in. But, you know. Uh, right. I Actually, yeah. I remember, because this is in terms of, this is actually not in terms of Jewish, but I think in terms of a Christian. Like, if a Christian was doing something like this, you know, it would kind of, you're not considered, because the idea of being a Christian is to be like Jesus. So yeah. if you were complacent in this, you essentially are not mm -hmm. Jesus. So uh, yep. obviously, like Judaism, you don't have necessarily a correlation to that, but it, at the same time, but I can talk about in terms of, you know, it's supposed to be a faith of peace. It's supposed to be yeah. a faith of thinking about others. So especially those who are different from you. So the idea that in the name of, and I can't even say it's not even in the name of religion. That's the thing. It's just like. No, it's the the religious aspect of it is just kind of shut down. This is more in terms of almost like revenge to me. Like, yeah, well, it's these people took our land, and because this land was promised to us by God, that, mm -hmm. and I'm I'm keeping it very basic. Like, 
Yeah, it's it's, ru- it's rooted. Kind of it's rooted in this right here. That's what it's in rooted part, in. but in in part, but it's just the idea that people are not the people that need to be saying something are not. Well, it's also and I'm under the firm opinion that religion doesn't help this matter and hasn't helped this matter for centuries and decades and eons. But no, you know. I find that but, for all of them. None of the above for me. Right. right. But, um, I, my, my, my point was that, as you said, this is affecting children. Yeah. So if you have a heart, you should be a little bit more mindful of what you're doing. That is terminating bloodlines yeah and you being complicit in that like if that happened here we wouldn't hear that now granted i would argue if you're a person of color you might they might be able to get away with but like if you're of a certain class especially there'll be a lot more outrage so the idea that palestinians are considered less than and not even considered human i think it's and i think at the end of the day that's what kills me it's the idea that if you believe that every human has unalienable unalienable universal rights essentially the right to exist that includes palestinians so the idea that they're being murdered for what reason Like, no one is necessarily talking about. And and then it's just the idea of obfuscating and gaslighting to justify what is going on. Where we know if it happened in the reverse, there would be a lot more conversations, I would say, about it. For sure. I mean, well... Well, Netanyahu's in D.C. May may we hope he falls into a slow operating wood chipper, but you know, that's just me Acc- accidentally, accidentally, hopefully. Um, but you know, talking about these things is why we're demonetized. Go to kodashv.com slash Indian News Network in the description below in the QR code with your little smartphone there, or if you're in the live chat, put exclamation mark donate. Kofi and let you donate that way. Uh, all other ways to donate are in the description below. Um, and if you can't give monetarily, liking and subscribing is very helpful. Um, you know, we're heavily suppressed, so any sharing you can do, we're gladly appreciated. And, you know, leave a comment. Let us know what you think. Um, you know, otherwise, thanks for watching.